Okay, so here is the video that nobody asked for. Absolutely nobody. Um, but I do get some compliments on my makeup sometimes, so I figured that while I have all this extra time on quarantine, I might as well film a video. <laughs> and I'm teaching myself how to edit um, videos on YouTube while I've been t like making videos for my students and stuff, so I figured I could give myself some extra footage to maybe work with or something. We'll see. Um, so I start off with a clean face and my eyelashes might look a little bit messed up right now because it's the quarantine of 2020 and um, I'm not, I can't go get my eyelashes done right now. Um, so I start off using this, here we go, Real Beauty YouTuber, um, Smashbox, the original photo finish smooth and blur primer. I already put some on, so after that... I take a beauty blender, and I usually don't cover up anything. I have some things that need to be covered up, but my foundation, which is Hourglass Immaculate um, Liquid to Powder Matte Foundation, and this is the shade Vanilla. Vanilla. So I put it on my beauty blender, and then put it everywhere, and the beauty blender is damp because that's what they recommend. Funny story, when I first started doing my makeup, I didn't realize that you were supposed to wet a beauty blender, so I was just putting it on dry, and it was not the best. It didn't really work that well. So this takes a little bit to get it all over your face. Usually in the morning, I can do my makeup in about 10 minutes or so before school when I'm not locked in the confines of my own house. And I don't always do my makeup, but sometimes it's nice. And it, this makeup, I don't know why I'm doing that. This makeup um, helps me to not be so oily because I have really oily skin. So Hourglass Immaculate liquid to powder um, mattifying foundation is really good for oily skin. And it's kind of buildable so if you go back over it again you can build the coverage um, to how you like it. Usually I just need a light, light coverage. And then I go under my eye. I just got some like literally in my eyeball. Ugh. Whatever. Okay. Okay, so there's the one eye. And then the other eye. And then I might go back over some areas that need it. Ugh. Ugh. And then under here. My contact is really dry now because I got foundation in my eye. Okay, that's good. I might need to put some eye drops in. Uh, I'll touch that. Um, and then... <laughs> yeah, my eyes like really dry right now. Okay, please hold. <laughs> Alright, all better. Let's uh, get back to it. My palettes are really gross. This one's nasty. So then I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder Palette, um, the Contour Kit Light to Medium. And I just use the, I don't even know if I can hold it up because it's all crumbly, the yellow shade right here. And go underneath my eyes with it to cover up those dark circles because I'm a teacher.
and I just naturally have dark circles. They're hereditary. And this eye's all messed up now because I got makeup in it. Okay. So there's that, and then I'm all done with that. It's literally like the only thing that I use in that palette for now. And then I have a super old um, Swamp Queen Graveyard Girl palette from, uh, this was Urban Decay? Nope, Tarte. Tarte Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen collaboration palette, very old, um, and it's also crumbly, and I've used mm, a lot of things in here. Um, so I take the bronzer, which I forget what it's called. Is that Sweet Tea? I can't even see what it is. I think it might be Sweet Tea, but take that, and then go right here kind of make a pucker face. <laughs> it doesn't look as intense as it does on the camera. It's showing up really intense right now. Um, it doesn't really look like that. Okay, and then under here a little bit. No. Okay. And then I take Maybe I should be showing what brush I'm using. I don't know. This just, I really cheap brushes. This is an e.l.f. brush. Um, the other one was like a Bare Essentials or whatever that makeup brand is called. E.l.f. I just have really pretty cheap brushes for the most part. And then I take a little bit of the blush, Does This Thing Really Work? And put it right here. Not very precise. And then that's it. I would use the highlighter from that palette, but I, it ran out a long time ago. So then I have Bare Minerals and Mineral Veil. This one's tinted because I find that it helps with um, how white I am. And it just helps to bring a little bit more color into my face. Maybe. Maybe I look orange. I don't know. Maybe people who know me in real life are watching this like, I can't believe she's making a makeup tutorial. She looks like crap. So anyways, I'll just put it right up here and go around with it and then a little bit underneath and like use it to blend in my makeup. This is, I don't know, makeup artists are probably horrified. Um, so then there's that. And then I have this Tarte Skin Twinkle Volume 2 palette, um, the Lightning palette, and I got this on sale from Sephora a while ago. Um, but I got it because this pat, this shade right here, Daylight, is um, it's kind of a dupe for the Gator Wings highlighter from the Swamp Queen palette, and I like that one so much that I had to find something that was close, so I got this. So I use a fan brush, this one, this is a Morphe 310 fan brush to put it on. And just like this, really not, I'm like doing it as quick as I do it in the morning to do my um, makeup to go to work, but plenty of time, it's, it's quarantine, so no rush here. Um, okay, I'll go like this, and then I just take my finger and like put a little bit on the top of my nose, and then a little bit on the top of my lips, and then that, and then sometimes, we have a lot of time in the morning take like a little another elf professional eye defining brush here and put that in the highlighter and then put it right above right at the highest point of your brow bone because it makes it your eyebrow it makes it look like your eyes open more um and then that's it for that and then I just actually take some Vaseline lip gloss or whatever, chapstick, and put it on. Because my lips are always chapped. And I do have a lot of lipstick, but I hardly ever wear it. Okay. And then I take Urban Decay D-Slick 
setting spray, oil control, because again, I am very oily. And then just wait for it to dry. Ow, just close my hair and <laughs> my cap. Uh, like that, and then I might like use a spoolie to brush my eyelashes, but they look okay. Um, fix my nose ring. And that's it. Um, that's my makeup every day. Uh, sometimes I do eyeshadow and other things, but not usually. That's just, that's it. it. Takes like usually 10 minutes. Today it took a little longer because of my eye. I, I'm an idiot. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and maybe I'll make another makeup video some other time. All right, bye.